looking guys for here and today I'd just like to give you guys a little bit of some updates and uh, this one's actually gonna be a little bit of permanent um, from now on for every Wednesday I which way I was going to eh, that's another way okay I was going this way um, basically what's gonna remain permanent is basically um Basically, what's gonna remain permanent is um, basically no videos on Wednesday. Alright, blue, well, that's section up. Okay, I got a torch. Uh, basically, on every Wednesday now, there will be uh, no videos. So sorry to break it to all of you, but there is there is not going to be no there's get no new videos at the most, but mostly some old ones that I have not had a chance yet to at least uh, you know um, get uploaded and whatever. So those are going to be things. I'm going to clean out the video space and um, yeah, hopefully go on from there. Um, I also do like to bring you guys a little bit of some more updates as well. Um, one of the updates, greatly repeat, alright, hang on a second, and this uh, kind of includes the mobs. A little bit, but um. Anyway. Anyway, so. Basically, for the update, um. Basically, for the updates, basically, I've been doing a little bit of some research, and, um, I think. I think there's something new in the net that I'm not sure. But I did realize that, uh, for those rings, I actually figured out how those things actually function or work. Basically, you gotta get it up into the high place and then start flying. So I was like, oh, great. So I was like, oh, great, I figured that out. But apparently, those things can only be obtained in the end. So, gotta go all the way there. But there is a end city on other words, a structure, a default structure. I want to keep, and there's also a shop. So the plan is for us that we're gonna try to do it on realms, see if we could find it. Um, if not, quite sad of a surprise, as a matter of fact. But the Nether. The Nether, I think there might be something in I'm not really sure. I'm only web searching it already. Um, I think there is something new. Alright, I got it. And there's a maximum size portal of 23 by 23. Holy cow. And my freaking and I Explorer keeps popping up every time, so. Yeah, it's it's quite bad. Anyway, there is obviously a new uh thing in it. Not really sure um Not really sure what it could be. But, uh, I'm just gonna try to find him. Full. Uh, I screwed that up, but I don't give a crap. Um. I, no, I don't want to do that. I think I spelled that wrong.
basically there's A in it. I did not know that. Default structures. How come I am not getting it? Let's do another fortress. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really give that crap anymore because... Oh, freaking heck, I can't... Its main article have to be... Wait, oh yeah, let's actually generate... Generate structures, if I might say. So there is uh, something in... um. So there's something in villagers, but uh, that's going to take us uh, quite a while. We really need like a whole lot of sources because the biome we are in at we are at is in the ice plains, and uh, somewhere it looks like. Hey, yeah, let me. I got like a reading saying north. I had a thing saying like north or something, but uh, somewhere like around there, that's um, that's where the planes were last time I remembered. So, but the way Dylan's going, he's going the wrong way, obviously. So I'm not gonna judge him. He can go that way though. But we're in the winter biome, and it's a little bit hard to get resources. Quite a lot of resources, if I might say. Um, so yeah, um. Be honest, we are actually gonna go and um that's a strong oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Stronghold's that where the nether portal is. Uh or the end portal if I might say. So we gotta uh find that nearly. So we gotta at least try to find a huge repeat, a huge list of generated sources. This is obviously however a mind bent. The biome, uh, basically, um, there's basically like a huge thing that basically you can find like all of the resources in one area. There's a desert well, we're gonna. For me, I'm gonna try to find that because I want to see that. There's a mossy boulder. Those things usually appear, and those are not really normal. Those are really normal, but who really gives care? Village. We're gonna try to take over that. Uh, desert temple. The jungle temple. I really want to find that. I. It's. I never really heard about this, but this was. This is actually the first thing I found. I noticed and found in a video or whatever. So I'm gonna find that. So where chart I've seen that ocean monument we're gonna try to find that and there is an igloo and the igloo is in the ice plains of the cold tanga so so that's one thing we should probably look for in the ice biome so that's gonna take us quite a while another fortress glowstone cluster that is about like the only thing I don't th I thought there was something new in the thing but nope basically there's an end Oops. It was basically an end gateway portal. Um, it's somewhere I'm thinking. I don't think I've seen it though. But the end city is where I need to find it. There's uh, of course plant trees or whatever. But that's but the things like that's what I gotta find. The end city along with the end um, ship. So uh, I think the main thing we gotta find is. Is the igloo for right now, and that's in this biome. So I'm just gonna tell Dylan for our first hunt of um, generated structures is an igloo, and that's <laughs> that's gonna be fun. So uh, in the realm series, we're gonna at least gonna try to do that. Um, hopefully, we still need to gain. <sighs> uh, we still need at least gain. We still at least need to gain a lot of resources in order for it to work, so. Yeah, I wouldn't be too much surprised if we can actually can, though, but, heck. Um, another thing, too, I actually have to look up 
this type of flag and this is actually a legit flag here in banner size the red and the white uh, there is actually a website where you can actually um where you can actually know the type of the type of flag it's either horizontal or vertical uh tricolor and bicolor and by one is like two tries three so I did try one because I have a black, white, and black striped flag, and that's I keep getting my horizontal. And oh yeah, vertical. It's vertical, vertical striped thing. I and in the thing, it didn't, didn't let me get. Didn't let me have black. As a matter of fact, it didn't let me have it. So I'm like, really? You, you're not gonna let me have it? So so it was like great. I mean, heck, it was just like, great, okay, now we gotta freaking. Now it's like, for me, now it's like, I gotta try to freaking, you know, uh, I gotta try to find that. But the red and white flag, this thing comes from different countries. Legit, it does. Uh, it was, uh, the, it's like old timey flags, but that's an old timey one. One of them came from uh, Switzerland, right in the European countries. The other came from, I think I remember it was from South Africa, I think. Oh, uh, creepers there. Gonna run for it. And there's a zombie there, apparently. Okay. Made it for both mobs. Anyway, so, um... Yeah, that's sort of like the whole... Thing or scenario. Um... But that flag, I just really gotta look that up. But that one other flag, the white... The red and white, that flag contains a lot of... Countries, different countries, if I might say. And so... It's about... It's about like, man, it's really something. Uh, the other flag I was trying to find, I think it was a black and white, or, yeah, black and white, I think. I found, like, about a couple of those. Um, I also found, like, a blue and white one. The blue and white one actually comes from two different locations. Not really, I forgot where it was, though, but it's somewhere. And, uh, I'm wearing those types of pins because I feel like it, and might as well put some use to it. I'm, a, like, huge pink like I've got a lot of pins. And yeah, life life made it seem, but yeah, that's my hobby along with shot glass uh, hunting, whatever. It finds me unique shot glasses uh, along with um, along with uh, oh, hopefully I don't have a nosebleed because that because whenever that spills out kind of like that, I always figure it's either a nosebleed or what. I usually had that problem, but now I don't anymore. Because winter is kind of gone. Um, anyway, so yeah, just. I gotta find, like, the flag. I still gotta find that one. There's. The way I want one, I'm not really sure which official one it is, but there's, like, about a lot of them when I found. <laughs> what I found online, so. It's like. Man, how many countries actually use this type of flag? Yeah, basically, you wouldn't be so surprised. It was like a lot of countries. It was, it was Sweden and all that. It was just... It's like a madhouse, kind of. Like, for real? Like, these things actually happen to us. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Anyway, uh, along with another update, I'm gonna adjust this webcam here. Great thing about this, like it actually rotates pretty good. It actually rotates pretty far down, if I might say. This thing's pretty so and so. Whenever I'm slouching, I might have to adjust this though. But um, right now I'm kind of setting up though. The thing doesn't really stay, is what I think. But this thing angles down. Sheesh, the thing angles down uh, pretty low. It's even on here if I can move it. Yeah. It's even on here too, so 
heck, I really, I really made a good smart decision on this. And so yeah. Anyway, uh, another thing I like to bring up um, with me also on Wednesday, I'm at least also going to be dealing with um, at least with my story. I still need to catch up. I'm at least going to be doing that after this recording. Um, my story. I'm heading into where Minecraft actually comes in. And, uh, as much as you guys might have known, I actually did learn some quite unique stuff. Now, you know how the bunny's been added in, and you know this thing called the killer bunny. So, you guys might not know it, but I found it on a video. Uh, it was like 16 Easter eggs. I think it was, yeah. 16, 16 Easter eggs in Minecraft. And one of them that I found was about the killer rabbit. Basically, this thing was a reference to the uh, Monty thing. Not Monty Craft, but the Monty thing. Uh, some old timey show. Just look it up. It's Mon yeah, Monty Pyrith. Pyrith, I think. Yeah, Monty Pyrith, I think. I could be mistaken. I could be wrong. Um, but just look it up. It's, it's, it's kind of some reference. I tell you what. Um, I also learned from it uh, with the golden apples like that recipe has changed like so much. It's even with the arrows too. Um, beforehand, before it was feathers, it was iron to make the arrows. Now I'm kind of thinking in my head like, okay, first off, first off. Why on earth would iron be on the arrow? Obviously, in order to get a good long range, you need feathers. How would iron be of use? <laughs> As a matter of fact, it would the thing would probably just fall flat down or whatever. I mean, jeez. I kind of think it's like stupid though, but that recipe's been changed now. But anyway, get off topic again. So, in my book, I am actually getting into the Minecraft area where basically, well, basically, there's this one mod, one mod that allows you to talk to mobs. So, basically, from what I found from my research, mob target consists of like a, in order to get the thing, it consists of a, um, consists of a stick and a glowstone block. And if you talk to a creator, for example, I would not because you would probably a kill, be killed, or be something if leg does not corrupt you. Um, basically, the name would be uh, Cuba or whatever Cuba, yeah, Cuba thing. I think it was Cuba, Cuba, yeah, Cuba. So that is so that is that. I'm basically uh, getting the girls. And the one male person in the thing uh, back in towards uh, my story. I didn't actually have them before. That was on the unwritten part. I gotta like angle this camera here. Just see if it's on my side. Yeah. I usually got. Usually when I'm just in the camera, it's like I think. Yeah, this thing's. Alright, that's good. So anyway. I actually had them in the story before, but that was a way long time ago, and it's just like what there is uh, with this one thing I can actually show with you guys, and that is some. Um, who was it? That is Amy the Squirrel. Now, if you guys don't know that, look up Eric W. Schwartz. S C H W A R T Z. And uh, he is actually the creator of that. I actually found the. I actually had found this video, um, a long time ago. I'm not sure when. I think maybe at least around five to ten, eleven, twelve years old. I'm not really sure. Fully though, but anyway, I know I was back in grade school though, but I'm not sure which grade though. Anyway. So I had basically like found this video of Amy's Squirrel. So later on I did some research and it turns out that this one guy had actually created Amy the Squirrel and all the others like Clacio the cat and so on and so forth. Um back um back 
back in the 1990s, I think, yeah, something around there, I'm not sure, just look him up. Uh, he is a cartoonist, make sure you find the white one, he's the cartoonist. Uh, make sure, just make sure you try to find the white one, I'm just telling you right now. There's a lot of others, but th there's only a, a right one um, towards it, but anyway. And basically, I'm like doing the same thing with what I did with Amy the Squirrel and the others to the mob uh, targets. I haven't gotten to that point yet, I'm still getting there. Uh, let's see, uh, one... Hang on a second, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So basically the entire number <laughs> seven. Goody, eight for each. <laughs> Yeah, I got a lot of furnaces, but they're just keepsakes. Anyway, so, like, with Amy the Squirrel, I actually reunited her back into this, and that's why I labeled a thing, uh, label, I will name the chapter, Remember the Past, but Think About the Future. That was the chapter thing. I had Amy the Squirrel in, and the others. And basically, I had actually met up with them earlier. This was the unwitten part. I actually met up with them. And here's what actually happened. When I met up with Sabra... Sabrana... Sabrana? I think that's the name, I'm not sure. Look at me, I never passed grammar class for a reason, folks. <laughs> anyway, um... I, I met up with Sabra thing in the story. I had seen a lot and all that. And... At a night... She had a dream, and it was about like a necklace. This was when I got in this di this Minecraft diamond sword keychain. This was about, I think, when about that time. Anyway, <sighs> moving on. Basically, later on, after that, when she told when she tells me about that dream, I tell her, repeat, I actually tell her, I actually tell her about how, I actually interpreted for her, and later on gave her a diamond necklace, like the Minecraft diamond thing, I actually gave her that, because her work was so special, just like a diamond, because diamonds are usually for like special occasions, you know, um, because for like wedding rings, engagement rings, you mean, you name the thing. Um, so, yeah, it's just, um, the thing with it is that, um, just the thing with it is just, you know, it's just really unique, really, uh, also just to, just see about it, then, after about a few years now, I actually, came across it again. This was and this was actually real. I actually started thinking of Amy the Squirrel. I never really, I started remembering it and I actually used like this in the footnote I actually described this thing with the film Fearist, which to be honest, if you want to get a little bit more, how about not have the how about not have the Deadpool tile how to kill Deadpool more like more like how to comp how to wipe out Deadpool's memory. Because here's the thing. So you know that with Deadpool he's immortal because of his powers. Well, basically you can't retract memories. Because memories are the elect are like electricity, like if you ever saw sparks go right between wire wire two wires. That is like that memory. It's that spark. And that's what the brain is. And you use like this type of diagram example of diet coke. Whenever you drink it, the brain sends signals. And those numbers that he used was 1, 2, 3. Just that fast. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. That memory would not be regained unless the action was redone again. And, and that was the whole thing. And I actually described it as well. I described my memory as, well, <laughs> heck, I just, I described my memory as just like a freaking... Um, 
It's like a fucking computer because I gain access. You know, it's like that's what I think of it. So anyway, I had like the memory of a squirrel, and I actually tried to get some research in. So that's what I did in the bullhawk. I I said I did some research. I needed some help though. But then later on, but then later on, I think I'm right. For this correct, but later on, later on, I actually, I actually remembered how to get it, and that was, and that was because that was the reason because of um. That was because of, of like what I say, like this notebook, and this notebook actually contained like dark secrets, whatever, dark su stuff in it. I said I regained memory. I regained man. I had opened that up and started to try to go and search for it. Under the thing that, you, that I typed in, allowed me access. It allowed me access in towards it, and I found the video again. So then later on, I went on and find her again, and lay on, odd work, blah blah blah, gibberish, gibberish, so on and so forth. So that's what I'm doing with like this one mod here that I found quite later on. Just look up the mod. It's you guys might think, why is it so? Anime-ish. Here's the reason. I can understand like a couple of things. The Magma Cube. Yeah, I understand that there's less whatever and there's more scared showing whatever. Uh, that's only because that's only because well, heck, it's the Nether. What do you expect? <laughs> I mean, look at this. You got lava all over. You got fire all over. This place is a freaking thermostat. So I can see why the creator had decided to do that type of sort of thing with, um, with that. I can see why he decided to put that on there. I think I might be lagging, maybe? Yep, I'm like, like, out. Hopefully I don't get a with a skeleton or whatever it just comes right at me and just kills me. Okay, good. Basically, like this mob thing, I actually want to we. I actually want to put this in because I actually we. I actually got them back in. Um, right of a while ago. And this was in the unwinted part. It was when I started to be into my one Minecraft world, that one huge mountain hut area that I decided to do kind of like a design from Chimney Swift when he started introducing the furniture mod. And so he, um, when he did, um, all of that, so, um, and this was when I actually heard about this one song, The Ice Storm by the Go Team. Look it up, it's really awesome. And it's basically based on that type of design kind of thing for me. I actually wanted to, you know, I actually wanted to have it kind of like, like that, you know. And just, you know. So, and basically, I had actually left, when I had left them, um, I left them to take care of my. I had actually left them to take care of my world, and they actually did. Look at that stuff. Okay. So. It's quite amazing to see how memories just come back. Ack. Like, you know, it's like. It's quite surprising. So. Anyway, so I'm at least bringing those back. I actually did try to upload the mod um, into my computer. Oh boy, I'm I'm just gonna tell you guys this right now. Um, you better have a good enough strong or something computer because this thing really lagged the crap. This thing lagged the crap 
out of mine. It, I mean, legit, it actually did. It actually did. It legit did. Uh, the only reason being is because, Pete, is because of the matter of fact of, well, you know, the matter of fact of, uh, the properties this thing had, and this thing had, like, a lot. If you get, like, the Mob Talker 2, that one has... That one indeed has, um, you know, that one indeed has the Java thing, and, and actually, it actually took me a while to get this stupid thing going, but, um, the mob target thing, I'm bringing that back into the story, so, yeah. Um, also, one more thing, too, before I go, uh, I'll shove off and deal with my story, and whatever. Uh, one thing I like to bring in the mention: if you guys want me to do another Q and A, and if you guys have any questions about me, or um, some of the things that I've done, and uh, some things what needs to be coming back, or uh, some things want to be coming back, or whatever, um, let me know down in the comments below. I'll be happily and gladly to take on those. Uh, questions. Last time, I tried to do a Twitch, but I think what I'm going to do is like just disconnect the audio and just you know do the do the thing. Uh, my friend, all my classmate in high school said that um, uh, usually like Twitch things have like a delay. I I mean I don't like it though, but I th but if that's true, it's like they should probably really fix that though. But anyway, just. You know, eh, just stuff. <sighs> um, well, I don't know what else to say though. Oh, excuse me, but like I said, if you guys have any questions, um, towards me of doing, of um, doing something, uh, doing a um. Uh, doing another uh, thing, maybe like um, freaking another series. What if I'm gonna bring back another series or something? Or well, if you just got, if you just have uh, some questions about me, uh, what, what types of my hobbies are, whatever. Uh, Q and A. A. If you guys want me to, just comment down Q and A for me. Um, Q. Just comment down. I'm also gonna post this on Twitter too. Uh, do hashtag Q&A uh, me. Uh, the goal is uh, possibly maybe getting a whole lot of good questions uh, down, done, whatever. Uh, as many questions as I can. I at least want to try to get everyone's questions though. Uh, but if not, I'll probably have um, I'll probably have um, a part two of the Q&A or whatever. So yeah. Anyway. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Peace out. And uh, like I said with the Q&A, uh, follow me up on Twitter. That's why follow me up on Twitter. Comment down, hashtag Q&A. And um, su submit in your question uh, towards me. So that, um, so that I'll try to answer your question and hopefully... Um, Hopefully life will go well for you in the uh, decencies of life and whatever. Skeleton's still trying to shoot me. Misses. But anyway. So see you guys later. Take care. Peace out. Slouching. Did not even notice that. Great thing about this game, this thing rotates good. Anyway, see you guys later.